Okay. It's Kate and Megan. And, Megan. and we are going to show you guys, demonstrate some positioning techniques that help in which situation again? An OP baby, main one, or just a um, asynclinic baby. Mm -hmm. And especially I would say um, the, this one and the four leading inversions and Walters, all three of them are most beneficial, I would say, in active stage of labor. Yes. When contractions are strong enough that the position itself can facilitate the baby to rotate. rotate. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna, the video's gonna be short and there's gonna be a longer explanation. So, benefits of sideline release are relaxes the pelvic floor. Uh huh. And relaxes all of the muscles in this whole area. Ligaments. And the ligaments that help then the baby have rotate the, and turn. Yep. To this sense. Okay. So it just shifts the diameters inside of the pelvis, especially the inlet, the top part, to make it wider so that that kid can rotate. Okay. So epidural or no epidural doesn't matter. Um, the nurse stands right here. The patient goes all the way to her side, all the way to the edge of the bed. Okay, did you have people usually grab the rail or no? I don't, because I'm wedged up person. against them. Okay, so then I just explained it to her. This leg is gonna come down, and it's just gonna drop to gravity. And it's just totally- And they'll lots of times be like this. That's how high. And then you'll see it. Slowly release. Yeah. yeah. And I think that actually helps even more. And when I'm turning them, I'll do it. How long do you hold them like this? Um, lots of times I'll also tell them they can hold on to me. Because yeah. they have a big pregnant that belly. Really big belly, so it's hard for them to get close. And you want to make sure their shoulders and their hips, hips are aligned. In alignment. Because align. align. sometimes they'll be, they'll be like, their tendencies <laughs> Always yes. to be on their back or like this. Or their, yes. So I look, I always tell them their entire vertebrae needs to be in the same line because that communicates with the diameter of the pelvis. If they're turned, the ligaments are twisted and the uterus is not totally midline and aligned. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. We're good with, what else do we need for this one? Three sets of contraction. Three sets of contraction. Or an equal amount of time. So six minutes ish, ten minutes ish. Just make sure on both sides, and they have to be the equal on both sides. You got to do the same thing. And when I reposition someone, I just do this all the time. Do you do that too? Whenever I switch their position, I do a release. They say to do it early labor, mid labor, okay. and transition. Okay. Transition is not as much fun as earlier, but yeah. Okay. Good.